Peter Neufeld with uh, an explanation of how you can take your geography and get an A on the assignment. I'm going to use Geography 20 as one example, but it applies to all the other geography exercises you get now on Google. First of all, usually I send you a blank list and I want you to uh, insert the list of locations. In this case, it is 17 locations for Geography 20. Now, as usual, you go to my website. I want you to type in the list of countries yourself. I don't want to give them to you. Why? Well, we've talked about this in class. Because I want you to actually see it and type it in. It's better than just looking at it. That will help you learn location. So if you go to my website, drnewfeld.com, go to Daily Updates and go to Podcast, this is where you will always see posted the latest list of our countries. Now, this um, taping this on Wednesday. If we go back to Monday or Tuesday... Here is the list for Geog 20. So I'm going to take a couple and type them in. I'm not going to type all 17 to speed it up. I'm just going to take about four or six of them. So first, Libya and Algeria. So now I go back to the homework exercise, and I type in Libya and Algeria. Next to Black Sea and England. So I will go to... Black Sea and England. And then I'll take five and six. Five and six is Turkey and France. Turkey and France. Now there's 17 this week. Uh, by here I would put, say, nine on this side and 10 through 17 over here. So go ahead and finish on your own. So next is I want you to take these 17 locations and put them on the map. <clears throat> Now, uh, this is Europe. Some of you know all these places already because we started the year with the Roman Empire and talking about Europe. So I'm going to mark the first two places on here. And again, the first two places are Libya and Algeria. Now, if you just circled it and typed in Libya on a text box, that's a C. I want you to do it in color, uh, and that's what it takes to get a name. There's a couple tools that you can use. So you go up here to uh, curve. This is where you can outline the country and it will uh, fill it in in a particular color that you choose. So we'll do one in curve. But first of all, we have to go to, again, the first is Libya. Some of you may not remember where Libya is. So I am going to go to maps.google.com and I am going to type Libya and it reminds us where Libya is. Going to back up a little bit. Ah, Libya is in Africa. Now, some of you remember Mail, M-A-L-E. That's how we remember the top four places in Africa. So Libya, going back to our map then. This is the one that's Libya. So I'm going to take the curve, and I'm going to stop, start here, and I'm just going to try to draw, oops, went too close. So I'm going to have to delete this and start it again. So curve. Straight down, straight down, go up, up. Ah, and there is Libya. Now it's in a light gray. If you choose here, the bucket, you can Put it in whatever color you like. So that is Libya. Now remember, I'd like for you to put the text box, the name of the country in a text box. So I'm going to go to text box. I'm going to create it here and type in Libya. Remember, capitalization and spelling is important. In fact, I'm going to put it in bold so it stands out. I'm going to make the box even smaller so it fits. Now I'm going to grab it by the four arrows and bring it down here. So there is Libya. Okay, now, next one is Algeria. Where is Algeria? Well, let's go back to googlemaps.com. Ah, and we can already see it right here. Algeria is right next door. So, going back here, this one will be Algeria. Now, you could either do it uh, in a line where the color fills inside, or you could just do a boundary in thick color. So let's do it that way this time. That will be the scribble. 
Okay, so now I'm going to start here. And you hold down the mouse while you are drawing the outline. That's how you use scribble. Get as accurate as you can, and there's the line. But a lot of you will say, well, it's hard to see that line. Okay, click on it, go up here, and I'm going to say I want a four-point line. And I want it in color, so I'm going to choose the color here in red. So you can either do it with a line or fill it in. It's up to you. In fact, I'm going to make that line even thicker. Uh, okay, I'm going to move this in a little bit. Okay. So that one is Libya. So I'm going to go back to a text box. I mean Algeria. A-L-G-E-R-I-A, -E capital A. I'm going to put it in bold. I'm going to make the box smaller. Now drag it down. And there is Algeria. Okay, so that's how you can mark all 17 places. Uh, remember, it might be easier if you make it larger. Zoom in. I'm going the wrong way. Zoom in there. When you draw your lines, it can make it easier. But if you want it in color, either the outline or the inside has to be in color if you want an A. Don't forget, though, spelling and capitalization is important. So this is how you can get an A on all of our geographies. If you have any questions, uh, email me, and uh, we'll see you later this week. Bye.